you know, there's been a host of amazing creative people on air, but I think the things, the, the, the carts, if you will, um, that the, the station identification and all the different things and tonight's production, this is quintessentially CKCU. And your, your interest in experimental music being born out of this station isn't surprising as well. That's why it blends so well with the production. So props to all of the people who've been behind the scenes, not only Mark, but all, there's been a lot of other really great people that have lent themselves to be the bridge between all of us on the, on the music and on the air, and that, that continue to exist. Yay. I agree. Right on. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> okay. So you know what? Thank you very much, Julian and Talene, and everyone else that's been up here so far this evening, and certainly everybody in the room and that has been through CKCU, and all of the listeners who've been supporting CKCU for all of these years. There's just a few people we'd like to uh, call out by name, and thanks for, uh, for bringing this whole celebration together tonight. Uh, those people are Mark Valcour. The lovely and talented Tick, <laughs> who if I could just say one thing about, uh, I, uh, I did overnighters here for maybe four or five years before I got on to the, uh, the regular night show, and Tick was one of the people who was doing the uh, special blend on After Me, and every time I see Tick without fail, he reminds me about the CDs that I would burn for my show and leave with him that he's still enjoying to this day, and Tick, you're welcome wherever you are. Do I need to put my glasses on? No, you can. Okay. Do you I, want, I, do you, I can would you like to read one. some names? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jim Herkim. Yay. <laughs> Keep going. Mehdi Falahi. You go ahead. Lisa Corkery. <laughs> David Sarazen. <laughs> and finally, Matthew, Matthew Crozier. <laughs> So they said keep it loose. Yes. So far, so good, right? <laughs> you guys can applause as much as you want to. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate that, and we'll feed off of it like baby birds. <laughs> and actually, over the next 90 minutes, we're going to feed your head and fill in some spaces between your ears with a lot of great memories and good people coming up here. And we will trace the history of CKCU from its beginnings to today through a collage of photos and the words of people who are here tonight. That's right, Ed. <laughs> If he's Ed, am I Johnny? Um, if you want... hey oh, hey oh, Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Before my time, I'm sorry. Um, so, um, you read my lines. What? <laughs> <laughs> Only if your name's Ed. No, if you want to follow along with tonight's proceedings, didn't you just say that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> If you want to follow along with today's proceedings, there's a program which you may have picked up at the front door, and um, you can follow it along and keep that as a memento so that you can remember the evening. In addition to uh, that program, you'll also find some hot off the presses, limited edition CKCU swag, not for eBay. Uh, to start off tonight's festivities, though, I would like you all to welcome the chair of the CKCU Board of Directors, Bijan Roy. Good evening, everybody. It's uh, great to see all of you, or it was until I got up here, and now I can't see anything. Uh, I'm assuming you're still there. Thanks to everyone for turning out, and uh, thanks to everyone for putting this on. I don't know if you know everyone responsible for it, but uh, there's a 35th anniversary uh, committee to thank, uh, made up of people who I can't see where they are, but Tick, I'm sure you all know, has been instrumental in this. And Jim Herkham is somewhere as well. And Lisa Corkery, somewhere as well. I think she's up there. And of course, Matthew Crozier, our station manager and uh, fearless leader. And stay tuned to CKCU-FM. This afternoon we'll be giving away a pair of tickets to win to see the show Screaming Bamboo and the Adopted at Club Zinc, August 9th. Also, an interview with Brian from Screaming Bamboo will be coming up, so stay tuned. Radio calls. 
93.1 of a kind. So how many dates are you going to be doing? Gee, I never counted them all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all the major cities out west, mm -hmm. uh, plus Lethbridge. You've been doing a lot of work in the Ottawa area. Have you had time to sit down and write any new songs over the last while? Oh yeah, the, the songs come when they feel like it, basically. Yeah. That, uh, uh, we're all constantly working on new material. Yeah. I imagine the road will give you a lot of inspiration to write. Well, I sure hope so, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe you could introduce the next track that we'll be hearing from your EP. Well, uh, apparently it's uh, World of Tomorrow, uh, which is a, a song that is actually about four years old now. Uh, World of Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of events does CKCU co-sponsor? Well, just about anything, actually. We've done dance, art exhibits, even mostly music, though. It's uh, a music-oriented station, although we're open to pretty well anything. I'll see case you.